Hey guys and gals, so this is going to be video number four in response to question number four from the Atheist YouTube channel, The Flying Spaghetti Monster, where he gives a list of 20 questions for Christians, and I've been answering all 20 questions with 20 different videos. Now, I'm sorting all these videos into a playlist titled 20 Responses to the Flying Spaghetti Monster, which is in the description down below to make finding these videos much easier. If this is your first time to our YouTube channel and like what you see, please consider joining us on all our social media platforms, our podcast shows, and, and please, and most importantly, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Now, with all that aside, let's get started with question number four coming right up. So question number four says, how is life in heaven perfect without your friends and loved ones that ended up suffering in hell? So to be perfectly honest, I mean, we can't say for sure how this will all work out because the Bible never specifically says. But what we can do is look at what the Bible does tell us and come up with some pretty good ideas of how we can be happy in heaven without certain loved ones and friends. Now, I tend to lean towards the idea that we most likely just won't remember the ones who didn't choose to go to heaven. And why is that? Well, because in Revelation 21 uh, verse 4, it says, He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. So, if there's no more mourning or crying, then that leads me to believe that we won't be sad for the ones who aren't in heaven. And if we aren't sad or missing these people, then it has to be because we don't remember them. Now, another possibility is that we will be too focused on the amazement and the awe of God to even think about anything or anyone else. But when it boils down to it, honestly, we just really don't know. But I know why I don't know, and it's because I'm finite and He's infinite. As high as the heavens are to the earth, so are His thoughts and His ways higher than mine. But just because we say we don't know, because Christians say we don't know, doesn't make it a win for atheists. I mean, as Christians, all we can do is put our trust into the one who does know and tells us that there will be no more mourning. There will be no more tears and no more death and no more sadness. God bless.